Hello everybody. Oh. There we go. Today we're gonna to be traveling along the North Shore up to Manson to show you guys what that looks like. QB roll. Driving from downtown Schlant to Manson is about a 10 to maybe 15 minute drive. Not that far, and it's a very beautiful drive. Parts of it are right along the lake, and the highway kind of reminds me of something in California. Every time I'm driving through this part, I feel like I'm driving through, well, not Malibu, but something like Malibu. Manson is an unincorporated neighborhood. It's not officially a city, it's in the county. Has a population of about 1,468 people, so right around 1,500 people. And it was named after a guy that owned a land company, not after that other crazy guy. So get that out of your heads. There's a lot of orchards and stuff out here. Uh, it's also home to Wapato Point, Mill Bay Casino, three lakes and one pond, but maybe it's a lake too. I don't know, I'm not really sure, it's pretty small. Manson also has wineries and lots of them. Today we'll be visiting one. You can get hotels here for averaging right around 200 to 250 a night. And I know all this information because of my handy dandy cheat sheet. I'm trying something new here and planning ahead. Unfortunately, I planned this trip about 10 minutes before I left my house, so now I have this with me. Try that again. Yep. <coughs> Just probably picked that up. All right, we're down here at Manson's waterfront now. You can see the water behind me here, and then right in front of me, you can see the parking. Now, we're gonna go over here and take a look at it. I wanna show you. This is kind of the parking for the waterfront. It's just this road right here and no real official like parking lot or anything. And this was kind of Manson's beach, which is, well, it's not their beach, but I guess their park, which is unfortunate because there is no beach. There's just some docks and not much parking. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mean to say that it's not a good place here. Uh, it's beautiful. We're right here on Lake Chelan. Couldn't really ask for much more. So right here in front of me is kind of what would be their beach, it's their swimming area. They've built some stairs that bring you down into the water and you can see uh, that there is sand on the bottom. One of the very cool things that I absolutely love about this place though is that they host the fireworks on the 4th of July and they do it off a barge just out in the water. downtown Manson now. Now Manson is a very small town. You can see the businesses end right about down there and they go just past that hill right there. So this is a place I've been to right here, a little Mexican restaurant. El Vaquero? El Vaquero? Am I saying that right? I'm not sure. Lake Chelan Brewery, very cool. Even cooler, Pilsner coming soon. Four 
lakes. That's the place I'm going to. They have a place down here now. You guys can, you can still go up to the old one, right? It's that plus this? Cool, so what is this? This is a new tasting room? Yeah. Well, that was cool. Just walking through downtown Manson and found a little offshoot of the main winery. A couple girls in there running it and gave me her card. She wants to see the video when it's done. Gonna jump in my car now and head on up to Four Lakes Winery. One of the things that I absolutely love about coming to Manson is that I get to drive on all these back roads. There's just miles and miles of them in these rolling hills filled with orchards and other agriculture. Now, a must see, a must experience along the way is this place just behind me, Blueberry Hills Farms. I had to stop real quick to show you. This place is absolutely delicious. Bring your girlfriend, bring your wife, bring your family. You'll love this place. And they have the cheapest blueberries you'll ever find anywhere. This is by far my favorite breakfast house in Chelan. You gotta come here. I think I just drove by the first hops plantation in Chelan. If that's the case, that's cool. I hope that becomes a seed to sale uh, brewery. That'd be really cool. Like a vineyard, growing their own hops, making their own beer. We'll see, I'm gonna have to stop by there and investigate further on another episode. Just got to Four Lakes Winery. First impressions, simple, kind of elegant. It looks like a, uh, a family business, which I think most of them are. And it's easy to get lost in the idea that a winery is this huge fanciful production. Not all are. And a lot of them are actually smaller country operations, which I rather enjoy. They have a more homey and personal feel to them than some of the more ornate wineries. And this place has an amazing view. They're perched up on top of this hill with 360 degree view, mountains on all sides, and the orchards of Manson. And then of course, just over my shoulder, one of the lakes there. Let's go inside and taste some of the wines and see what the view looks like from this deck here. <laughs> So really cool, look, there's one lake, and there's another lake. Way up there, that's Lake Chelan. I like darker, more robust, yeah. Okay. This is the TNT, oh, it's oh. a Bordeaux style blend. It's Cab Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon. That's good. I drink whites every now and then, and with it being this hot, I'm inclined to order some, because I feel like I'm supposed to, but I just can't get away from reds. I like bold reds, and, and this one here, that's a winner. This this red here, what, what am I, what is it again? Bordeaux blend. It's Cab Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Bordeaux, Merlot, oh, yeah. and Malbec. And according to her, it's a super, super buttery, super buttery yeah. squashy Syrah. Yeah. Very squashy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little burnt hair. Little, little burnt hair. <laughs> so I have to say, this is one of the better reds I've tasted in the valley. So good red. If you like reds, definitely come up here and try the red. Another great reason to come out here is the beautiful drive on the way. I already talked about that. And if you want to be able to see three lakes from one balcony, it's the only place I know of that you can do that. And that alone makes it worth the drive.
traveled to a few places around the world. Been to quite a few, not enough. But I realized this last time when I was in the Philippines and I returned and came to Chelan, how amazing this place is. You know, I've seen what I consider to be some of the most beautiful places in the world. After going there and coming back to Chelan, I realized this is one of the most beautiful places in the world. This is paradise. You don't have to be from Chelan to enjoy it. You know, I'm happy to have my roots here. I have family here and I have a place that I can stay. But if you're in Washington state, you, there's no excuse. If you have a car, get in it and drive and get out here. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for joining me for my second episode of Backroads. If you've made it this far, hit that like button and don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time, folks.